Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm going to talk to you today about getting weights on patients. Um, in veterinary medicine, it's really important to have accurate weight on any patient that comes into your hospital. Oftentimes, we're using their weight to track weight loss that we're trying to help clients and pets achieve, and or you know, weight gains after critical illness or a growing animal. Um, also, in hospital, we often will see really dehydrated animals that we need to monitor their weight as we rehydrate them. And weights can be a really great way to monitor, you know, assess how your fluids are being tolerated by a patient. If we see huge weight gains in a hospitalized patient, we may start worrying about their cardiovascular status, if their heart can handle the fluids that we're giving, or that their kidneys are able to eliminate them appropriately. So weights are essential and it's really important that they're accurate. And there are a few things that can go wrong with scales that can cause some problems. And I just wanna to talk to you about um, kind of common problems that we see with scales. So one of the things that it's important to do is tear the scale when you first get over to it. So um, most scales have a tear button. So if this, this would say, this could say like 0.1 or negative 0.2, it's important to tear it and it'll put it at zero. The other thing that's important here is to make sure that you're in the, the, the unit of measurement that you're looking for. So here we, at Dove, we measure everything in kilograms, but if this were to get bumped and switch to pounds, um, we can get a wrong weight. And sometimes weights that are wrong are easy to notice, and there's other times that it goes unnoticed, but um, in theory, you would be double dosing um, a patient's medications if it was in pounds and you were expecting it to be kigs. So pay attention to the unit of measurement and make sure that you're tearing it. Sometimes animals, you tear the scale and then you get the pet on it, and it starts reading it, but it doesn't lock on a number, and the animal walks off and you don't re-tear it, um, that can cause some inaccurate weights. Um, the other things that can be problematic in scales is if like a cord um, gets stuck, like a cord like this gets stuck underneath and is, is making it not be on level ground. If your mats go off the edge like that, if the animal is sitting on the edge of the scale, um, you can get some inaccurate weights. It's most important that you have an animal that sits in the center of the scale, sits still for a minute, and um, then you read your number. We also have scales that are flush to the ground here at Dove Lewis, and we use those for gurneys. And if you're putting a gurney on the scale, it can be really easy for the wheels to get off of it. So it's important to turn the wheels inward and make sure that they're fully on the scale as well. Um, next, we're gonna look at the small patient scales, which can be um, a little problematic as well. So now I'm gonna show you some tips on getting weights on animals on smaller scales. And so um, in veterinary medicine, we often use these tabletop scales for things things like cats and rabbits and um, other you know exotic small mammals at times and they can be really useful because putting a small animal on a scale on the floor um, obviously comes with some risks um, involved so these scales um, work for lower weights and smaller patients and can be moved to the, the table that you're working at. Um, but they can have complications if you're not using them right. So just like with the larger scales, one of the important things to do is just make sure that the surface that it is on is flat and there isn't anything underneath like cords or towels. Um, something like a towel that like makes it not level could cause um, errors in the weight that you're receiving. So you need to start on a flat surface. Um, these scales are all really slippery and the reason that they're this kind of slippery smooth material is so that we can effectively clean them between patients um, but it isn't always comfortable for animals that might have ambulation issues where they feel like they're slipping and sliding so we often um, here use things like these mats that can help a patient be more comfortable on the scale but we have to consider the weight of this mat and so um, when we turn on the scale, um, it will, let's see, start here at zero. And if you see, I'm gonna put this mat on and it changes the weight. And I don't, that's not the weight of the patient, so I need that to be back at zero. So that's when I use this tear button and I hit tear and it will zero it out and now it's ready for the patient. Um, so it's important to always tear your scale. It may not be a non-slip mat, but it could be something like it's a 
a scared rabbit and it's wrapped up in a towel and you're putting the rabbit and the towel on the scale and you're weighing them together um, but afterwards then you need to weigh the towel and subtract it so just keep in mind that anything that goes on the scale that isn't the animal needs to be considered in their end weight okay so now that it's at zero we're ready for our patient and this patient that we're weighing is a cat um, and so it's important that the animal is in the center of the scale and all their body parts are on the scale um, cats in particular um, so you can see our cat here, which is a very light cat, is 0 0.31 kilograms. Um, it's important when you're working with cats, in particular other animals that are scared, they often will put their paws on the edges and curl their, their foot underneath and that can cause some problems um, in the scale, especially if they're pushing down. You can see how the weight is fluctuating just with a pretty light touch on my part. Uh, so really try to have them center and still and then um, use the weight there. Anytime an animal braces on scales on the outer surfaces and not on the center, it can cause some complications. Um, but if you take those um, few precautions um, with making sure that the surface is flat, that the animal is in the center of the scale, and that you're tearing it, um, you should be able to get successful weights. And like I said in the beginning of the, this video, it is really important that accurate weights are being taken on our patient. Um, in the times of technology, one weight um, becomes the dose of many medications when we're using electronic um, uh, softwares. So I put a weight in and it calculates all the doses of the medications, but that one weight, if it's it's wrong can be really detrimental into the care of the patient so make sure that you're putting attention on this that it deserves and you're being careful and you're getting accurate weights on your patients